Hello and welcome to another video of the Merlevon Infant Center. One of the most common questions that I'm asked, that we are asked, uh, is right after the treatment plan is sent to the patient, what happens next? So let's say that uh, the patient has just one missing tooth, uh, the patient has enough bone to have uh, an implant placed and would like to have an implant placed in order to replace that missing tooth, what will happen next? So usually the patients, they book the appointment, uh, they have the treatment plan with the length uh, of that first appointment that would correspond to the implant placement. Usually uh, in the day of the implant placement, they come here to the practice. They arrive a little bit earlier. Uh, they have a very good uh, meal before they come here, rich in proteins, rich in nutrients uh, before. It's very important to have a good meal before uh, any uh, dental surgical procedure. Then, once they get here to the practice, they will uh, sign all the paperwork um, and uh, then they will be brought in here to, to our surgery. Uh, here in the surgery, they are, they are greeted by me. We have usually uh, a conversation. I, I like to summarize what's going to happen uh, during the procedure before uh, I actually start working with the patient. Uh, then. Uh, I usually start by numbing the patient, utilizing some local anesthetic. Once the patient is numb, then uh, we will start our surgical procedure. So usually the surgical procedure, um, in that surgical procedure, I will have to create uh, an incision where I want to place the implant. So we, we, we do a very uh, gentle cut in the area where we want to place the implant, open the gum, uh, just a little bit in order for me to, to be able to gain access to the bone, then uh, I will be utilizing a sequence of surgical drills uh, that will match precisely the size of the implant that I will be placing. Then once I uh, do uh, the osteotomy, which is the name, the technical name that we give to, to the little hole that we create with our surgical drills, I will insert the implant uh, that, uh, as, I, as I explained and showed you before in a previous video, has the shape of a screw. Uh, once the implant is inserted, I may uh, just fit straight away what we call the healing abutment, which is a, a long screw that will allow the gum to heal in the area where we have the implant. Usually, I like to uh, place some uh, dissolvable stitches uh, in the area where we uh, place the implant in order to close again the gum and once we uh, conclude the procedure we take x-rays just to verify again uh, the position and the precision of the position of the implant uh, once we do this i like to run the patient through uh, the post-operative uh, instructions give the medication to the patient and then usually um, the, the stitches, they, they are dissolvable. So most of the times, either I see the patient uh, for a post-op appointment or in some situations, uh, I just see the patient straight away to the impressions of the implant. Usually about three months after the implant is placed, the implant is ready uh, to receive the final porcelain crown. So then we bring the patient in uh, for uh, a quick appointment where we're going to do the impressions with uh, a putty material and uh, we're going to do the bite registration, do the shade taking and then we have to send that to the lab. Usually about 10 days to two weeks after we send uh, all the, this information to the lab, they will return the porcelain crown that then will fit on top of the implant. Uh, making sure that we have a good shape and color and also uh, that the bite matches perfectly uh, to your permanent teeth. So usually this is what happens uh, in a single implant. So these are the simple, simple cases of course that sometimes we may have some uh, slight variations. Uh, every case is different but usually we, we follow this pattern that I've just explained to you. I hope that this video helped you. To understand uh, very briefly what would happen and uh, I hope to see you soon for uh, another video of the Merlevon Implant Center. Thank you very much for your attention 
and uh, goodbye.